Except bloodshed and murder, BNP could not give anything to the countrymen, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in Jasor. Air Force is stronger, more modern and smarter than ever before, says Prime Minister, attends annual parade in Jasor. Credible election is not possible without compromise, balance and tolerance among political parties, says CEC. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashiku Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You're watching the headlines now. The details. BNP could not give anything to the people of this country except bloodshed and murder, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. Sheikh Hasina participated in the public rally of Jessore District Awami League and said that the Awami League has come to power because of the people's vote and is still strong. The head of the government also said that the allegation that there is no money in the bank is a rumor. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has asked the newly commissioned officers of Bangladesh Air Force to develop a sense of responsibility towards the country and its people to gain public trust and confidence. The Prime Minister said this while addressing the President Parade 2022 of Bangladesh Air Force Academy in Jasso today. In terms of infrastructure, strategy and technology, the Air Force is stronger than ever before, the Prime Minister added. She also said that the country's economy is safe and dynamic. BNP wants permission to gather on Neapolitan Road in order to create anarchy in the name of protest rally, says Minister of Information and Broadcasting Hassan Mahmoud. The Information Minister also commented that the party wants to hold a rally on the road after realizing that the gathering of people in the rally will be less. He said this in response to reporters' question after meeting with the UN delegation at the Secretariat today. It is not possible to conduct fair elections with army police if there is no compromise, balance and tolerance between the political parties, says Chief Election Commissioner Kazi Habibul Awal. He said this while sharing the experience of Nepal's election with journalists at Agargao Election Commission building today. The Chief Election Commissioner said that if there is no agreement between the political parties, it is not possible for the Election Commission alone to hold a fair election. There Therefore, the CEC called upon the political parties to dialogue among themselves. The Ministerial Conference of Indian Ocean Rim Association IORA has started in Dhaka. The conference started in the morning at Hotel Intercontinental in the capital. IORA's 22nd Ministerial Conference is presided over by Foreign Minister Dr. A.K. Abdul Momin. Ministers of 16 countries have joined the ministerial level conference. 134 delegates from 23 IORA members, countries and 10 observer countries attended this conference organized in Dhaka. Counter-terrorism official arrested one of the Ansar al-Islam operatives who took part in snatching away two of the death row convicts from police custody in Dhaka court premises on November 20th. Head of Police Counter-Terrorism and Transnational Crime Unit Asadu Zaman gave this information today. He said Rafi used to recruit members of Askari wing of Ansar al-Islam. He also said important informations have also been received from them. He said this in a press briefing at DMP's media center today. Now international news.
Anwar Ibrahim has been sworn in as Malaysia's 10th Prime Minister, marking an incredible comeback for a man who was first line up for the job in the boom years of 1990s before he was suddenly sacked in jail. The 75-year-old veteran politician took the oath of office in front of King Sultan Abdullah Sultan Ahmed Shah in the palace in Kuala Lumpur hours after he had been named to the top job by the monarch. King Sultan Abdullah had taken control of the process of forming new government after Anwar's Pakatan Harapan coalition won the most seats in the weekend's election, but not the 112 state parliamentary majority necessary to form a government. There has been three gun attacks in one week in the United States. After 10 people died in gun attack in Virginia, four students were injured in a shooting at a school in Philadelphia. The cause of the attack is yet to be known. Police are counting to nab the attackers. According to media reports, around 11.30 local time on Wednesday, when the students came out after school, several rounds were fired there from a car. After receiving the information, the police reached the spot and rescued the injured students and sent them to hospital. The doctor said that their condition is safe. After the incident, there is tension in the place and surrounding areas. Protests broke out at the world's largest iPhone manufacturing plant in China's city of Zhengzhou. The workers complained that the police severely beat up the workers of the factory. Foxconn company blocked the factory premises last month due to increasing COVID infection. Because of this, some workers ran away from there to control COVID. Company introduced a closed loop system at the factory, keeping the workers isolated from the rest of Zhengzhou. Foxconn later hired new workers with the promise of bonuses. The workers were also seen complaining about food, and many complained of not getting bonuses as promised. Now, news on sports. Four matches will be held in Qatar World Cup football today. Brazil and Portugal will start their World Cup mission in separate matches. Five-time world champion Brazil will take on Serbia in Group G. The Brazilians are far ahead of Serbia in terms of ranking and strength. Therefore, Brazil will enter the field with the title of favorite against Serbia. The match will start at 1 p.m. 1 a.m. Bangladesh Standard Time at Al Janoub Stadium. Ghana's opponent in Group H is Portugal. The match will start at 10 p.m. Bangladesh Time at the Stadium 974. On the other match, Uruguay will take on South Korea at 7 p.m. We're about to the end. The headlines once again. Except bloodshed and murder, BNP could not give anything to the countrymen, says Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in Jashore. Air Force is stronger, more modern and smarter than ever before, says Prime Minister at its annual parade in Jashore. Credible election is not possible without compromise, balance and tolerance among political parties, says CEC. Veteran politician Anwar Ibrahim sworn in as Malaysia's 10th Prime Minister after 25-year struggle for reform. And five-time world champion Brazil to take on Serbia in the, quarter, in the Qatar World Cup football today. Portugal and South Korea to play other matches. That's all for now. To watch our news online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. To watch our old program, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla and Facebook slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast at 7.30 p.m. in Bangla. Stay tuned. Allah Hafiz.